Hey guys, it's me Desiree Marie. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Desiree Marie and I do all sorts of videos. I do lock videos where I talk about my locks. I show you guys my locks, my washing process, which we're going to do today. Um, Oh wait, no we're not. My washing process, my styling process, my maintenance, all of that good stuff. I show you the up and down, all of that good stuff. I've been locked for about two years now. So if you're looking for someone to relate to, someone to bounce ideas off of, get some advice, um, and also to grow with, hey, subscribe. I upload videos about my locks almost every single day and you will definitely find something cool here that will be a special treat. But anyway guys, welcome back crew members. I'm back with another lock update. It has been about two years and let's say August, September, October, November. Two years and three months that I've had locks and I'm just as excited as I was when I first started my journey two years ago in August 2016 right 2016 <laughs> um, yes I'm just as excited as I was back then I'm even more excited actually because my hair is actually growing it's locking it's looking more yes like yes okay it's at a length right now that i'm really enjoying even though you know i do like long hair and it could be longer i'm enjoying the process <laughs> and that's what you have to do you have to enjoy the process and love what you got um you know i've come to a point where i have accepted my flaws as far as my locks are concerned that yes i have few flat locks in my head yes my locks are not super thick like everybody here on youtube and um you know i'm, I'm just learning to accept what i've got and i'm enjoying it i'm enjoying it and i love the fact that certain styles look better than they have before when i do my hair um but at this point at this very 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 point i'm not like super interested in doing like crazy styles except for curls i find that curls are really um still low manip still low maintenance because it's not like pulling on my edges and pulling my hair this way and that way causing tension and you know with my roots curls i roll them and i take them out and i've got a great head of hair <laughs> So I'm really enjoying the fact that I could just curl my hair and go and pretty much hold a curl for the entire week and still look presentable. My hair has been feeling really good and that I can say is due to me drinking more water. Now guys, you know, you know the struggle, okay? I was talking about how I hate water, right? Like. A few months ago you heard me say I hate water I don't know how to drink water it's just it's like torture drinking water well I have recently come up with a method um, I, and I challenged myself to drink more water by filling this one and a half liter uh, water bottle uh, with water every day and I marked it and I said you know what this is the amount I'm gonna drink morning noon and evening yeah i stuck with that and i feel like it's now a routine in my life and it has shown with my hair my hair is nowhere as dry as it used to be it's now feeling moisturized like when i touch my roots i feel like it's not dry and crispy like it's actually moisturized even when it's dry like quote unquote dry my roots still feel moisturized and my hair still feels good so drinking more water is key to um, if you are dealing with dry locks or dry scalp. Guys, I'm telling you. But other than that, my locks are still growing and I love how they are progressing. Um, yeah, they are flaking up a little bit like right here. So we got to work on that by washing. <laughs> and um, also on this side, I don't know, like it looks like my edges like what happened where's my edges so uh yeah i'm definitely going to stay clear of putting my hair tight up you know a whole lot i think that's uh, that's due to me kind of like manipulating and stuff so i'm going to challenge myself to apply castor oil to this area and um and i could show you guys the results of that um because i'm not 100% happy with the way that my edges look on this side 
and I know it's due to me pulling it. It's not due to anything else but that. Other than that, I um, love how my hair looks. I'll show you guys a little bit of how it looks on all sides. Yes! So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wash my hair and come back and um, talk a little bit more. Now, the shampoo that I use is a conditioning shampoo because I know that I have high hair porosity, high porosity hair. So I have to use something moisturizing to keep moisture in my hair because my hair type is one that leaks moisture. Like, it doesn't stay in. So... Um, if you are dealing with the same thing, try a conditioning shampoo and it will work out well for you. The one that I'm using is the Bro Shampoo. It includes the ingredient beer, which is known to keep hair moisturized. It's like an ancient secret, but now the secret is out. So um, I'm going to go ahead and use that, come back and show you guys, talk to you guys a little more. Hey guys, so it is like Thursday. <laughs> I know that I allowed so much time to go past, but um, I thought that I would kind of give you guys like an update on my moisture. If you hear breathing and panting, of course that's Tunky, my dog. But I thought I would give you guys like kind of an update on what I do throughout the week to keep my hair moisturized. As you know, I have high porosity hair. So it requires a lot more to keep my hair moisturized. And I just wanted to give you guys an actual um, look at what that looks like. Okay, so I washed my hair on, I believe that was Saturday, over the weekend. And then um, what I did on Wednesday, because I didn't moisturize after that. I moisturized on the weekend and I left it alone. Um, Wednesday, I sprayed my hair with water and I tried out a few products. Um, I first of all I did um, I used a spray concoction that I have used um, that really does help with the smell and just yeah I created a concoction um, with avocado oil um, a few other oils and peppermint oil to keep the smell of my hair smelling good I love that concoction because it always makes me feel like I smell like a peppermint or something like a candy cane so um, that always helps to kind of refresh my hair smell and how it feels it gives like a very nice menthol-y feeling in my scalp um, and today is the um, second time during this week that I have moisturize my hair and I'm going to show you right now what I use so on my roots I tried something different yes I tried something different I sold some products from my boyfriend and what I use is this I don't know if you guys know about it I'm sure you probably do and I'm just late to this party but I use the uh, wild growth uh, light oil moisturizer and this is really good like this is power packed with hair growth oils um just a few oils that are in this pumpkin black cumin rice bran uh well that's not a an oil <laughs> but um you have the primose oil seeds of seed oils of castor uh, uh carrot oil um frankincense and uh, lavender grapefruit all of these different oils in one and um so what i did was i applied it all over my scalp all over all over all over of course after spraying my roots with water um i applied the oil and i made sure to moist like just really massage it and get all the moisture you know evenly distributed all throughout my scalp then i used a um another product something that was gifted to me by my mom <laughs> she made this and um she didn't tell me what's inside of it but she did tell me that there is like garlic inside of it which really made me nervous because i do not want to walk around smelling like garlic <laughs> i don't want to walk around like a big old garlic piece like mm. so what i did today was i took some of this um i had this actually for some time but i was really nervous to use it but today i said okay let me just try it out see what it's all about so I poured just a little bit in my palm. It's very thick, like the consistency is very thick. So, you, you know, just looking at the product, you can tell that you're about to get like a really nice moisturizing um, product. 
So I took a little bit and I poured it into the palm of my hands. I, you know, rubbed my hands together and I started dispersing the oils all over my head. Um, the oil is great. Like this is a this is perfect for my high porosity hair because my high porosity hair needs heavy product. It doesn't need some kind of light oil. I realized that I need something with more substance. And this is definitely like the consistency is good for that. Um, I feel like this really sealed the moisture in and even right now as I'm touching my hair, I feel like it's still it's still in there, you know? It hasn't left but it you know, my hair still feels moisturized, which is great for my high porosity hair because as you know, high porosity hair leaks moisture like you would moisturize it at one o'clock and at 330 your hair looks fried like you've never done anything but this really held moisture for the entire day I would say that and that it really it's a nice consistency it keeps your hair moisturized the entire day and I'm looking forward to seeing how you know it keeps my hair moisturized for the next few days because I really feel like my hair will continue to feel moisturized and be moisturized and hold its moisture just because of this nice solution of oils. I would say though the smell is like me I, I'm just I'm just really sensitive to smells. I'm really sensitive to scents. Like I said I love a nice citrus smell. I like a nice peppermint smell and a little floral smell here and there. I'm not someone who likes heavy scents and this thing has a heavy scent okay and um for me i can't have heavy scents around me or i catch a headache and my body just starts reacting i feel nauseous and it's just not a good thing so um this had this has a heavy scent um but that's only one con you know above everything else that's good about this product just that one con so what I had to do to um, kind of you know help my my help me from getting nauseous or just feeling you know this, is, this doesn't smell good I put my hair in a ponytail and left it like that until you know the smell kind of subsided um, it is a strong smell right immediately after putting right like just putting it onto your hair for the first time but as you you know go about your day it starts to wear out and then you have like you have a, a pretty much neutral smell um, left over I can tell you right now my hair does not smell like garlic anymore and it's not I don't smell anything really I don't smell any type of scent in my hair anymore which I'm very happy about. So I feel like this teams up with this. Um, I didn't use this actually, but I used these two. These two oils really helped me with my um, dry hair situation. And they're so, they're natural. So I'm really excited about that. I feel more at ease using these products because they're natural. Natural oils, natural oils straight from you know the seeds of which the oil has been extracted from like I feel good about that um now you already know I'm not someone who's big on like I, I'm not like the I'm not like someone who's like oh my gosh it has to be 100% natural in order for me to use it but I you know there's just something about using something that's really natural and organic that puts your mind at ease when you use it um, so yeah, I feel like those two products really helped me out right now. I feel really good like my locks look amazing They feel good. They you know, I still have like a little bit of like oil when I touch my hair and I don't mind I like that. I like that because it makes me feel like my hair has maintained its moisture and It just feels a lot you know flexible a lot more flexible because believe me just to be honest I woke up and my head was dry like my scalp was dry my roots were dry my hair was dry but putting these products together uh, accompanied with my water really brought my hair back to life so I'm really happy about that 
but anyway guys I just thought I kind of you know change things up a little bit with my hair update because I usually do the same things or kind of change things up just a little bit but you know today is one of those days where I wanted to do something different and just show you guys something different um, how I actually like practically uh, maintain my hair with moisture uh, and and keep my high porosity hair you know healthy and growing so yeah um, I know my roots are like who girl when you gonna retwist um I might retwist this weekend you know I might retwist this weekend because I actually have somewhere to go so you know just to kind of prepare and you know look my best I might retwist I might I might I'm really liking the volume that I'm getting right now just to be honest you know I love it but anyway guys thank you guys for watching let me know down below how you keep your hair moisturized what oils work for you what um yeah what oils work for you whether you use olive oil or jojoba oil or whatever what oils do you use? Do you blend your oils? And if so, what do you use? Let us know down below. You know, help a sister out. Another dry head sister <laughs> who might be needing some help and some advice on how to make her own DIY hair concoction. But anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Um, I will have my mother's information linked down below if you are interested in trying this for yourself. Like I said, it's really good. And I'm not just saying that because it's my mom. But this is good. Like I said, I, I gave my, my pros and my cons just to be fair to you guys. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I love you. Do subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And make sure that you follow me on social media. It's Desiree Marie underscore on Instagram. And it's DesireeMarie.com is our blog. Anyway, guys, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. I love you. And I'll see you later. Later.